Good evening, my beautiful collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What's up, collective? You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring a ling a ling. Oh, collective. Let's do a Gemini full moon reading. Let's do this. But you know how we're going to do this, y'all? We just going to mix some decks here. Because you know what? It's a Gemini fucking moon. So what do you get with the Gemini? Anything goes, right? Let's just see what's up, y'all. It's a beautiful energy. I hope you all are feeling it. It's going to get you unstuck. So I hope you're ready to get unstuck. You want to get unstuck, Collective? I, I do not know how the hell I'm going to shuffle this, but we're going to give it a shot, y'all. We are going to do our best. God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil, as is my beautiful Collective. Now, Collective, Collective, what are you feeling right now? What are you going through, huh? I haven't been outside, so I don't know if we got cloud coverage tonight or not. Don't really matter, y'all. Y'all keep yourself protected with this full moon energy. We all know the uh, kitchen witches are going to be doing their shit. So say your prayers. Keep prayed up. Do your thing. Do your thing, honey. Right? Ooh, not a sword. Someone's in the head. Uh, yeah, you know... Um, Temperance. Someone needs to sit their bitch ass down for a fucking minute. Find Jesus. Someone needs to go find some... Find Jesus. Go to, go have a damn spa day or some shit, bitch. Get off your ass. Do something. Ooh, y'all. Anyone else been drawn to do, like, the, the facial mask for, you know, for your skin? Anyone else been drawn to do those? Kind of tighten and firm and just get rid of those impurities? Mmm. I'm ready for my close-up. With one look, they'll forgive the past. They'll rejoice. I've returned at last to my people in the dark. Still out there in the dark. I don't care what anyone says. That is Patty LaPose, okay? Mm. That is Patty's. She was done dirty. Collective. Let's cut it again. Let's cut it again. Let's cut it again. With one look, they'll forgive the past. They'll rejoice. I've returned at last to my people in the dark. Still out there in the dark. The moon card and temperance, or ace of pentacles, excuse me. Temperance is wanting to come up. But of course we are in Sagittarius season. So happy birthday, my Sagittariuses. Look at that. Ace of pentacles in reverse with the moon card. It goes around, comes back around. Mm -mm -mm. It's a beautiful energy, right? What's done in the dark will always come to light. Speak on a spirit, the star, the moon, ace of pentacles, and the star. Mm -mm -mm. Beautiful energy. Beautiful energy. The sun will come out tomorrow. So you gotta hang on till tomorrow. Justice and the Empress. The sun will come out tomorrow. Ten of swords in reverse. Two of wands in reverse. Seven of cups in reverse. With the world in reverse. But first, 
Let me take a selfie. Uh huh. There's some bitches that's still a little on the selfish side. There's some dudes that's a little on the selfish side, y'all. Take it how it resonates. Cannot sit their asses down. Stuck, stagnant. It's stuck, stagnant energy, right? I know you all have been feeling it. That just, uh, it, it like, an, like an oppression, like it's a, um, you know, something bogging you down. Just feels like something's bogging you down. What? I think in the uh, uh, air signs reading, it's like, uh, some kind of almost saccharine, molasses -y type energy around that's just sticky, sticky, sticky and, and very uh, elusive, right? Very elusive energy. The moon here, the star in reverse, the ace of pentacles in in reverse, right? Any any moon rituals done that aren't to a higher good are not going to pay off. You can't manipulate the energies, right? The star, astrology, the astrology of things. Is you a good witch or just a bad bitch? What are you, right? You can do good or you can do bad. Some of y'all say you can do bad all by yourself. I know. I know you can. But the, the Empress here, the scales always balance out, y'all. It's a Gemini moon, so it's all about balance. It's, it's that duality. It's the duality, guys and gals. Uh, air sign energy. Uh, Gemini, Libra, uh, Aquarius. But do not take on this stagnant energy. Someone is sending their stagnation your way. You know, at the end of the year, people are wanting to release things. People are wanting their endings to come so they can get their happily ever afters. But their happily ever afters ain't going to happen. They never were. If you have to manipulate a situation, if you seriously have to manipula manipulate a situation or people to get what the fuck you want, it isn't yours, right? Sit your ass down. Yours will come. Figure out what is meant to be yours. Then it'll come easy. Then you manifest good. Peace, love, and light, guys, right? That's what I manifest. For me and for everybody. For the collective. For everybody. Peace, love, and light. Balancing out. Harmony coming in. Everybody. King of their castles. King and queen of their castles. Balance. Balance needs to come in. On a personal level, temperance energy. Temperance has been wanting to show its ass today. The earlier reading I did, we had temperance. Divine masculine, divine feminine. Y'all, it's all about patience. Sagittarius season. Y'all bet your bitch ass things are going to wrap the fuck up for 2022 to come in. And anyone on this fuck shit energy, what are you wishing on a star for? If you're wishing negative on a star, what do you think that shit's going to happen? How do you think that shit's going to happen? This is like reversal energy. The moon there, that ace of pentacles in reverse. It's going to come back. What you put out comes back. It's a loss. Find your own fucking star. This is find your true north energy, the star in reverse. Someone's got the freaking compass all freaking fucked up. Woo. Right, y'all? This, this is that stagnant energy. For And, uh, you know, it's kind of a collective energy y'all if you ain't uh sending out there trying to send peace love and light trying to to vibrate on a higher vibration there is so much of this stagnant energy this this oppressive energy right and oppressive is just in everyone kind of being like just it, it like in a pressure cooker almost right it's it's just oppressive it's like that ooky 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 shit you can't wash the fuck off what is that uh Thing they say you can do, uh, put a lifesaver in someone's shower head until they figure out why they take a shower and they're all sticky. Kind of feels like that. So, you know, it's going to be very easy for things to kind of stick to you. Y'all need to, you know, it's like uh, putting some of that cooking spray all over your body. Oiling your ass up so that way things are just going to just slide right off. That's what y'all need to do. Uh, get out of this energy. This The stagnation energy. The stagnation energy. You shouldn't be confused as to what the hell you want to do, how you want to do it. And that's what this energy is all about. Damn it, what do you want and why ain't you going for it? That's on you. 
Are you over here on some fuck shit, worrying about sending out negativity? Well, that shit gonna come back, so what the fuck? You just keep kicking that can down the fucking road. And then wondering why every time you go pick it up, it cuts your ass, right? Got all them tears in it. Woo. Empress Emperor energy. Balance coming in. Balance. Temperance. Yeah, this energy right here. Someone thinking that they can manifest uh, conflict in a situation and think that's going to be a, a winning solution. What fuck shit are you in? This is that money over family, right? So, I mean, yeah, it's, it's fighting with your family over fucking money. People get so stuck and stagnant in their energies. And where are they going? Where do they go in this energy, Collective? Where do you think you're going to end up if you, if you stick in that energy? It ain't going to be pretty, now is it? Ace of Cups in reverse with the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, you end up being still lost and confused when it comes to love, when it comes to your heart, when it comes to relationships. The guy don't get the girl. The girl don't get the guy. There is no happily ever after. There is no wedding scene at the end of the reel, right? Oh, oh I'm thinking of that, that song. Oh, what's this? da 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 Da, 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 da. Can you believe it? A wedding in the last reel. Oh my God! Why Sunset Boulevard, y'all? Why am I thinking Sunset Boulevard? No, you're wrong. They still make good pictures. Stick to your story. It's a good story. Okay, Miss Schaefer, I give it to you. Oh, I love that. What we got here? Queen of Cups, the devil. Yeah, I am not talking out my ass. The Empress, the Queen of Cups, intuitive as fuck. You've got to trust your guidance and your intuition right now. Know what energy is yours and release the shit that isn't. Okay, you got to release what isn't yours. The devil in reverse and this Nine of Swords energy. Anything that is, is negative that uh, you're holding on to, anything that's negative that might be holding on to you, right? Some of y'all, I'm going to wash that man right out of my hair. I'm going to wash that man right out of my hair. Uh, move the fuck on. Man, you're going to wash that bitch right out of your hair, right? You're done. The devil in reverse, doing the shadow work. That's how you get in this Queen of Cups and this Empress energy. Masculines, this is like Emperor energy, only better. Because you're able to love yourself. You're able to be kind, loving, gentle, and give. Which will get you more pussy than being a fucking dick, okay? Uh, that's how it goes. Release him from the toxic. That is beautiful, y'all. Let's take half this and just see what else wants to pop out. Knight of Wands. But look, this Knight of Wands on this card is on a fucking snail. So, you know what? It's a slow pace. It's a slow journey to get there. You don't get that Ten of Pentacles overnight, y'all. You got to work for it. It's a process. You got to put forth the work. You got to do the work. You got to educate yourself. You got to uh, uh, get the right people on board, helping you do what you need to do. Helping you figure out what you need to figure out. The hermit, you go quiet to figure out what the fuck it is you want. You research, you really go in deep. Seven of Pentacles in reverse with the tower. That right there is that, that aha type moment right there, okay? That Seven of Pentacles in reverse is that stagnation, but you're in hermit mode. So that way you can do the, the healing work that you need to do. This is release work, okay? This is the release work that needs to happen. And some of you, this is learning to keep your energy protected so that you don't take on other energies. Especially when we get into these cycles where it's like that, that sticky, molasses-y type energy that's, that's kind of all over, right? That kind of uh, wants to stick to you and, and makes you feel icky. Um,
it, it's breaking that, y'all. And with the, the spirit of Gemini energy on this full moon, it's seeing the clarity. It's getting the clarity, taking the strength of that Gemini energy. Because the thing about a Gemini is, you know, some people think we're flipping, but you can see both sides to every story. You can kind of see it. You look around it, over it, under. It's like the hangman energy, only better. You're on one of them machines where you kind of go all over. You get all kinds of views of shit. Especially when you're stuck and feeling stagnant and you don't know which way to go or what to do next. You see that full moon right there? I'm telling you. I ain't bullshitting y'all. Once you release from the negative, you got to learn to keep your protections up. You got to learn to pray. Uh, take it to God. Let things just go the way they go because things will work out. When you're loving yourself, when you're giving to yourself, when you're being proactive, when you're working on your Ten of Pentacles, your, your home, your body, your life, everything. It's a healing energy. It's a healing energy. Clarify this tower card, please, and thank you, Spirit. It's the beauty of that healing energy. When you do the work, we got the Ace of Wands, right? You're able to do the work. Page of Cups. You're able to let go of people, places, and things that you don't need. With the Three of Swords in reverse. You've done the healing. You're not holding on. You've realized things are the way they are. That's the way it's meant to be. Right? You ain't trying to manifest people, places, and things in your life that you don't need. You're manifesting good opportunities. Work opportunities, advancement, right? When you pray uh, and manifest good for you, you manifest good for others because you put it to work, right? You get blessed, you bless others. That's how it works. That's why the more you uh, reward and give to others, the more you get back. And you do it because you know that's how the cycle of the energy works, right? You give to help out and you leave it at that. And it's little things. If you don't have money, right? It's holding the door open for people. It's smiling. It's being polite. It's uh, it's wishing people uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, uh, Merry Kwanzaa. Uh, you probably don't say Merry Kwanzaa. Happy Kwanzaa. <laughs> Sorry, I fucked that up. Whatever you need to do, right? You you're just you're just what? You're free. I got no strings to hold me down, to make me fret, or make me frown, right? Because you're in this fucking energy. Queen of Cups, the Empress. You trust your gut, your guidance, your intuition, right? But is it moxie? You got the moxie. You trust You end what needs to be ended. You release what needs to be released. You notice the chalkboard there? You've exhausted all uh, means, right? You know no way around this is the situation going to work. Person, place, or thing. No matter how you tried it, no matter how you look at it, no matter what you think that equation is going to be, you know, hey, it's a loss. You cut tra uh, cut it up, uh, cut it up. You, yeah, some of you cut it up, throw away the paperwork. You're like, I'm done. I'm done. It just ain't worth the time, effort, or trouble. But you erase the board and you start all over again. New ideas, fresh ideas, new concepts, whatever you got going on there. In order to progress, you got to do the healing. You got to do the healing, y'all. It's the only way you move forward. You you can't skip that step. You can't skip that step. But you got to know when that step is uh, there and what you got to do and how to navigate and how to trust your energies. 
Like oh sun, won't you come, won't you come? That's the sun card, right? But you still got some of that fuck shit energy around. But you notice that? It's like the skull that you can see the x-ray there. This is going in deep and really doing the shadow work. This is really going in deep and seeing what the fuck is up. And understanding what the fuck is up. Ace of, now see, we have the Ace of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles there in reverse uh, earlier when we pulled it out. Now we got that Ace of Cups and that Seven of Pentacles. Who, what, where, when, how are you going to invest your new love? This new, this new time and attention that you have. All this time and attention you've wasted on things that weren't good. Where are you investing it now? Is it scary? Fuck yeah, it's scary because you got to put yourself out there. You got to learn to trust again. And a lot of you aren't in that energy where you trust again. You think as soon as you let your guard down, this shit's going to end up like this. Yes, there are imposters out there. Yes, it's not always going to work out the first time. Not the first fucking person that you meet is going to be the one. Okay, you got to meet multiple people, but you got to have your ass out there looking for opportunities. You got to be looking. They ain't just going to knock on your fucking door. See? Okay, well, what, what popped out here? The fool in reverse? With the ace of swords. I'm speaking the truth. Fool ain't going to just knock on your fucking door. Here you go. What are you working on? What are you working on? Four of cups. Seven of wands. A release. We do got the page of cups here. Followed by the nine of pentacles. But we got this queen of cups in reverse. For some of you all, it was just the wrong person. It's the love or not the love, y'all. Some of y'all, this is that false person. But you know what? Uh, until you get out there and date people, meet people, and interact with people, you're not going to be able to use all that freaking information and, and all that work you did to spot out the people that uh, are going to be the red flags. Okay? And until you get out there, get dip your toes in the fucking water, uh... Then you'll be able to, to figure out what's up, right? The illusions of it. You're going you're gonna to know. You have to. You have to put what you've learned to the fucking test. You just can't stay hidden. It's not going to be the first person. Hell, for some of you, it could be the 10th or the 15th fucking date you go on, right? Uh, you, but you got to be out there. Judgment in reverse, the empress here, the lovers. Yes, you got to be out there. You got you got to be willing to to put your judgment to uh to the test. To see if you can spot the red flags. To see uh if you know who to give your time and energy to. Are you getting the point? Y'all you got the education. Now it's time to fucking use it. You didn't go through and learn everything you learned to just piss it the fuck away. Right? It's not like getting a uh, uh, a degree uh, in a what? A degree in biochemistry, but you end up going to, uh, into business, right? Uh, working for a uh, retail chain. It's like, what's the fucking point? And you're like, well, I, I got my degree, but I don't know. I don't know. I just, I, I just don't know if I can do it, right? So you go choose a safer bet. Instead of going towards something that is a little bit more complicated, that is going to require a lot more brain work, right? You kind of choose the easy way out. I'll just go work in retail and schedule and, and you know, scan in invoices. <coughs> Instead of getting out there and maybe creating a chemical that could, uh, you know, be useful to the world, right? That's going to require years of testing and years of work before it gets the approval to be used in the market, right? It's like some of y'all want to take the easy way out. You got to get out there. Emperors and empresses are meant to be seen. But you got to trust that you can navigate those waters. You got to trust when the energy isn't yours. You got to trust when the energy isn't right. You got to trust when something just fucking feels off. You know what you need to do. You're just not trusting yourself. Spirit, what else you got on this? I don't mind this idea, but it's harder than hell to shuffle that big-ass deck. What else you got on this? 
The two of wands. Well, I guess we're taking that. The two of wands. So now it's decision making time. And some of y'all are doing that. You're looking into what you need to do. This is working in silence. Y'all can work in silence. Not everyone needs to know every step you make as long as you're fucking doing some work, right? As long as you're out there doing some work. You're studying, you're figuring things out. You see, you you got two ships coming in behind him in that window, so eventually he's going to have to get his ass up and start getting busy. So, you know, okay, you've done enough sitting on your ass and thinking and planning. Now it's time to put it into action. Knight of Cups, King of Wands in reverse, Temperance, and the Ten of Swords. See that Temperance showing up, y'all? Sagittarius, we are in Sagittarius season. This Knight of Cups is just getting out there and being available. Uh, getting out there with, with that beautiful open heart of yours and, and, and throwing that love out there into the world, y'all. Being nice, kind, and gentle. You see, even that horse is pretty. Maybe out there walking your animals. See, you both are gorgeous. Look at that. Time to get out there. Time to get out there. King of Wands in reverse. Temperance and the Ten of Swords in reverse. You know how to navigate these energies. You know, you know, King of Wands, uh, Knight of Wands energy. If they come in hot and passionate, you, you kind of going to be able to handle that situation. You got to know that you're going to be able to, to cut through the bullshit. Some of y'all don't think you're going to be able to do that yet. Even though you're, you're, you've done the work, you're balanced, you're grounded, you're not overly in your heart, you're not overly in your head, uh, you're just uh, you're just wanting to be a little lazy. So, now, some of y'all, it's just pure fucking laziness. Now, that doesn't mean you've got to go out on five dates a week, but maybe you at least try to do one or two, right? If it's not even dates, at least talking to people. I don't care if it's one or two a month, as long as you're getting your ass out there. Uh, you're, you're giving love to the world. It's time for you to get out there and start, start seeing. I want to be where the people are. I want to be where the sun is shining. I want to walk down those, watching the college soul streets. Right? Part of your world. Some of y'all, you, you, you've been cooped up long enough doing the work. Now it's time to get your ass out there and, and uh, uh, do what you got to do, babies. Do what you got to do, sweeties. Do what you got to do, man. Spread that love. Love, kindness. Generous of your heart, your time. Donating time, donating, doing what you need to do. Some of y'all dating, at least meeting people. You need to be out there meeting people, meeting options, okay? Guess we say, uh, keep your protections up, but at the same fucking token, you can have all this education, but if you don't fucking put it to use, you're not out there using it, what's the fucking point? You learn so you can get out there and, and implement it. You can put it into action. You can use it to your benefit, right? The Ace of Cups over here. Some of y'all, you're just like, fuck love, John. Fuck, you see that Ace of Cups card flew over there in reverse? Fuck love, John. No, 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 no. It's the lover, not the love. We got to keep that heart chakra open, okay? Because, uh, Seven of Wands. Look at that. You are protected. I don't know. Can you all see them Seven of Wands in the sky? See that shit? You are protected. You gotta get out there. It's the love or not the love. Oh, that's the first time I noticed that one bond was a little different. That's interesting. What the fuck does that mean? That's interesting, guys and gals. Hold on a minute. It's the first time I've noticed that. Each one of them wands are different. They kind of look like pins. Uh, for some, you know, it could be like a text messaging, uh, emails. Seven. 
Seven different suppliers, seven streams of income. Yep, look at this. Followed by the sun card. Some of y'all, seven states, seven cities, seven, seven different types of transportation. Uh, getting out there. The sun, things coming in, positive things coming in. Travel. A sun card. You know some people on top of that what appears to be a hospital? You see that? Getting out there and, and uh, being useful. Getting out there and, and doing what you need to do. Getting out there and helping people. Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. I love that. Ten of Cups with the lovers here. Friends, family, loved ones. Maybe you're going to get a job. You know, that kind of gives you nursing home energy, right? Walking the older people out in the garden. Uh, just going for a stroll, being around people. Old folks, some of y'all could be working in a nursing home or think about a nursing home. Or just going in and just visiting, right? You want to give, maybe just uh, uh, going in and, I don't know, I don't, well, now wouldn't be a good time for that, right? They pretty much closed off the old people to everybody. How sad for them, right? Ouch. King of Swords. This is about healing. Healing through the truth. Healing through communication. You see that? You see that energy? But you got to put into practice what the fuck you've learned. Or what's the point? What was the point of... What was the point? What was the whole fucking point, y'all? The point wasn't not to love... The point was to learn how to love and just have your protection up. Be smart about it, right? You learned the lesson. So now you can move forward smarter, knowing you know what the fuck you're doing. This is a Gemini moon. This king of swords is going to be pretty fucking important. You're going to see. But it's a healing truth. It's a healing ending. It's like the, the life-saving surgery that you need. No one wants it, but you know what? You have to have it. kind of sums up the Gemini full moon, huh? You might not want to, to do, the, do the surgery, to have the operation, to remove what is ailing you. But once you do, and once you heal, boy, you're going to be so thankful you did, right? Trusting the guidance that you get. You trust the person that's going to cut you open and do what you need to do. You're going to trust the surgeon, right? You're not going to sit there and, and, and study the procedure on YouTube so you can do it to your own fucking self, are you? No. You trust, especially if you uh, believe in Most High God. You, you have your deity that you worship. You believe in, in the positive, the loving side of life. It's the love or not the love, y'all. It's always been the love or not the love. It's always been the love or not the love. You just had to learn the proper way to love and not get hurt. Love is a battlefield, but you're like the star paramedic, so you're good, okay? You got this. Ah, collective, I love that energy, but the, that is the energy, y'all. The king of swords there, right? That sums up a Gemini, masculine or feminine. But some of y'all been sitting on your ass a little too fucking long. It's time you got up, okay? Enough study. And now it's time to implement what the fuck you've learned. Now it's time to put into practice what the hell you've been working on. Now it's time to do what you've been planning to do. And for a lot of you, it's going to, to help uh, release any ailments that you have. It's going to help you get that release that you need. Well, once you get out there and you start giving of yourself, once you get out there and understand... That you can navigate, right? You're you're walking around. You got that sword. You you you're going to be able to navigate any negative energies. But until you get out there, and you do it, are you going to understand? You got the fucking education. Now you got to use it, right? Some of y'all just taking the easy way out. You study biochemistry, and then you turn around and go work for a retail store because why? Damn it. You don't always get instant gratification. 
uh, right? When you're doing uh, chemical studies or the sciences. The sciences are about long-term tests and waiting and waiting, right? You're growing impatient. That's that impatient part. That sticky feeling as you uh, trying to avoid emotions. Uh, other people's emotions, I'll be, but that's because you've got that heart closed in a little bit. Open that heart because it's the lover, not the love. It's always been the lover, not the love collective. Let's just see who's at the bottom of each of these decks. Page of Wands in reverse. Seven of Swords in reverse. Eight of Cups in the upright. Damn it, Temperance said, want to show her ass up again. Y'all, all this uh, Sagittarius season, now's the time to kind of use this energy, use this boost to do what you need to do. Endings. Be in action because you were afraid of deception. Now it's time you move. Yeah, look at that. The Eight of Cups followed by the Empress. Now it's time you move in the direction you need to. That Empress there knowing you can create the balance that you want. You're the one responsible for that. You know how to use uh, the information, the knowledge that you've gained. What you went through wasn't for naught, but now, you know, you got to move on. Get out there. Put it into Action Collective. You got to. It's always been the lover, not the love. Because I know y'all are here for love. I know y'all are here for love. So we give you the love, right? <laughs> you can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring a ring a ring. Peace, love, and light collective. I hope y'all have a wonderful evening.